Trecol is a floating all-terrain vehicle with a 6x6 wheel arrangement on ultra-low pressure tires. The body of the all-terrain vehicle is made of fiberglass, and therefore has very low thermal conductivity and the ability to operate at temperatures from minus 60 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. Trecol's passenger capacity is 8 people. The all-terrain vehicle is equipped with a gasoline engine with a capacity of 130 horsepower. The maximum speed is 70 km per hour. Typhoon is a premium side-swivel all-terrain vehicle. Instead of chain drives, which are used on the Sherp, a cardan shaft and final drives are used here, they reduce the load on the transmission. All units are mounted on a space frame made of Swedish high-strength steel dokal. The frame is integrated into the body of the all-terrain vehicle. The body itself is made of AMG 5M aluminum alloy. Trum 20 Burevestnik is a huge 8-wheel amphibious all-terrain vehicle with ultra-low pressure tires. The design of the all-terrain vehicle consists of two sections. Each section is based on a sealed frame boat, inside which all components and assemblies are located. Each section has four wheels driven by toothed rollers using the tire tread pattern. At the same time, the roller clears the tread of snow and dirt while moving. Rotates the all-terrain vehicle due to the fracture of the frame between the first and second sections. The power unit of the Trom 20 Burevestnik is an inline six-cylinder diesel engine with a volume of 6,700 cubic centimeters and a power of 312 horsepower. The all-terrain vehicle is equipped with huge wheels 1960 mm high and 900 mm wide. Each wheel has a displacement of 1,800 liters. The tires are inflated and deflated from the cab. The maximum speed of the all-terrain vehicle is 50 km per hour. The fuel reserve is 500 liters. With an all-terrain vehicle length of 13 meters, the weight of the vehicle is 12 and a half tons. The carrying capacity is 5 tons, and the passenger capacity is 24 people. The specific ground pressure of the all-terrain vehicle at full load is 150 to 160 grams per square centimeter. If you put tracks on the wheels of an all-terrain vehicle, the specific pressure will be even less. Each section has its own interior heater, and there are also USB connectors for charging phones. The floating all-terrain vehicle Forester 1370 has permanent all-wheel drive and is equipped with a 20-horsepower gasoline engine. This all-terrain vehicle is a side-swivel vehicle and is controlled by tractor-type levers. Fuel consumption, depending on the type of off-road, ranges from 3 to 5 liters per hour. The maximum speed of the all-terrain vehicle is 25 km per hour. The ATV is also capable of overcoming water obstacles while afloat. The Shaman 8x8 has a steel body, the lower part of which is sealed and made like a boat. All transmission parts are located in a closed frame of the original design. The all-terrain vehicle has all-wheel drive, all eight wheels are swivel. The Shaman has no restrictions on driving on public roads, as it does not exceed the permissible width. The all-terrain vehicle is equipped with low-pressure tires measuring 1200 by 600 or 1300 by 700. The maximum speed on land is 70 km per hour, maximum speed on water is 7 km per hour. The carrying capacity of the all-terrain vehicle on dense soils is 1,500 kg, on weak bearing soils is 1,000 kg. MYL is a spacious wheeled all-terrain vehicle with ultra-low pressure tires, created on the basis of a light-duty truck. The comfortable cabin with a pleasant interior and two rows of seats accommodates the driver and five more passengers. The Cummins diesel power unit with a capacity of 128 horsepower will ensure the transportation of people with an additional load of up to one ton at any time of the year. High reliability of the machine is achieved through the use of a reinforced frame, truck axles, 
a transfer case with a center differential lock, and a disc brake system. Engine operation is monitored by special software that increases traction performance. Starting a diesel engine in winter is simplified by the Webasto preheater. The machine is designed for operation in difficult road and harsh weather conditions. The ATV is designed for movement on weak soils and snow cover, as well as for overcoming wetlands. The diesel engine of the all-terrain vehicle is reliable and economical, when driving on a highway for 100 kilometers, fuel consumption is from 15 liters, and off-road, when covering the same distance, fuel consumption will not exceed 22 liters. The vehicle is equipped with two fuel tanks with a total capacity of 128 liters. It is possible to install larger tanks holding 200 liters. The Rash Amphibious Tract All-Terrain Vehicle is equipped with a two-cylinder Lifon carburetor engine with a capacity of 27 horsepower, with an electric starter and a transmission, the functions of which are performed by a variator and a five-speed gearbox. The forced air cooling system of the gasoline power unit allows the all-terrain vehicle to be operated at low speeds for a long time. The all-terrain vehicle moves on two rubber metal caterpillar tracks, each 45 centimeters wide. The tracks are driven by drive stars. The role of road wheels is assigned to ATV pneumatic wheels with low-pressure tires. On land, the floating all-terrain vehicle is capable of moving at a maximum speed of 30 km per hour, and on the surface of the water in one hour it can travel up to 5 km, while the fuel consumption of the brand will be from 2 to 6 liters per hour. In addition to the driver, the cabin can accommodate two more passengers. The all-terrain vehicle is controlled by two levers. Thanks to a high ground clearance of 40 centimeters, an attack angle of 45 degrees and wide tracks, the amphibious all-terrain vehicle has good maneuverability, the ability to overcome serious obstacles and an impressive payload of 500 kilograms both on land and on water. Disc brakes allow you to feel confident when driving over rough terrain with difficult terrain. The all-terrain vehicle is equipped with two LED headlights with a power of 40W each. The electric starter and battery help to quickly start the engine even at sub-zero temperatures. The onboard network voltage is 12V. The vehicle has a 24-liter fuel tank, which provides it with a good range with one full refueling. In its maximum configuration, the all-terrain vehicle can be equipped with an electric winch, a power front bumper, a heated windshield and a canvas awning. Production of the floating all-terrain vehicle rash lasts from 60 to 75 calendar days. The functional, economical, and cross-country all-terrain vehicle rash is ideal for fishing and hunting in hard-to-reach areas. With its help, you can drag logs, prepare firewood, remove snow, and take walks around the neighborhood.